making a video. Believe it or not, I've been slammed with work this time of year. You know, everyone's getting their cars out, looking for a paint correction, ceramic coating. So, uh, yeah, anyone looking for an update on my car, it is still down. We're waiting on valves for Manly. It's been 60 days today since we ordered valves, and we still don't have them. So, as soon as we get valves, we'll get my car back together and get you guys that content. But today, we got a banger. It's been a long time since I've done a build breakdown. Those videos are always hits. And today, we have one of the coolest cars around ever in my opinion it's uh, my buddy Fonzie's car a lot of people know Fonzie he builds a lot of coyotes uh, but in his own personal drag and drive car he decided to do something off the cuff and uh, or off the wall I should say and this car has a Barra in it so it's a six cylinder inline uh, Barra um, those motors were never in the US but uh, he got his hands on one and it is a super sick car total sleeper just like Zach's wagon same color uh, just not a wagon, but it is a badass car. Should make around a thousand horsepower, I would guess. Um, you know, it's, it's an eight second street car, drives it all over the place, doing drag and drive, doing sick summer here next week. So the car's over at DD Performance, where we're heading right now. It's on the dyno, it's got a fuel tech in it. So Justin over at DD is getting it all lined out for Fonzie. So he'll be all set for uh, his trip on sick summer next week. So we're gonna head over there. I'm gonna get some video of it on the dyno for you guys. And then when Fonzie comes to pick it up, we will shoot a build breakdown and give you guys a full rundown on the car. This one will be a banger. Stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. All right, boys, car's all tuned. We got Fonzie here now. Like I said, a lot of people know Fonzie from uh, his engine building, does uh, mostly coyotes, right? Yeah, a lot of coyotes and odd stuff. Odd stuff. And speaking of odd stuff, we're gonna talk about his uh, Fairmont. So give us a rundown, what year is this? So it's a 79 Ford Fairmont sedan. I've had it for about three years. Picked it up original owner, 36,000 mile car. Decided I wanted to be a little bit different, so it ended up with an Australian Ford Barra. Built the engine top to bottom for myself. Nothing too crazy. Cool. You know, Turbo 400 with a gear vendor. You know, Sean David helped me out a lot with this, and then obviously the guy's a gear vendor, and it's been pretty fast so far, and it's been really reliable. And you run it in, you're doing six summer. Six summer, this. Leaving, leaving this weekend, and uh, doing the uh, Freaks class, which trying to redemption for last year for second place. Right on. How fast has it gone so far? I've been 863 at 155. Okay. And it, it should go, should go faster than that. It should go 850s. I'm hoping it'll be a 50 this week. Yeah, right on. 
Cool, let's, let's check out the interior. I got some B-roll of it, but one of my favorite things about this car is uh, the interior. So tell me about who did these seats. Uh, Algonac upholstery, or Allegan upholstery. Okay. Um, I really wanted factory looking interior, full interior. Um, you know, I had a bench seat the first year, couldn't keep it, wasn't safe. Sure. <laughs> So a little bit of upgrades, but it still had to look like 1979 Ford. So they're Kirkies basically, and you and he made you covers for yes, them. Yes, sir. And, and they're thicker pad phone, or what? Yeah, yeah, they're so comfortable. I got to do this to my car. These seats, guys, are just, they're badass. They look awesome. I just went for a ride in the back seat. Back seat, super comfy. It's got a Motion Raceworks uh, operator yep. shifter in it. Cup it's on. Holders. It's got all their accessories. Um, and it's on uh, fuel tech, uh, fuel tech 550. 550, same as my car. Uh, it's got the Nano over there. Interior super clean. Who did the cage? Uh, Bainbridge race cars. Okay. Yeah, the cage on this car is super tucked. I mean, this thing, when it's on this set of wheels that are on the front right now, from the outside, it just looks like a grandma car. I mean, you would. This is very unsuspecting. I put it up against <laughs> Zach's car for most sleeper ever. It's a nine inch or an eight eight? It's a eight eight with nine inch ends and a little bit of bracing. Okay, what gear is in that? Uh, now it is a 355, I'm sorry. It's only a 255 60. Okay, so. is that just because you can't, this won't fit a 275? Uh, I'd have rubs? to raise the car up a little bit yeah. more and I like okay. how it sits right now. Yeah, it sits perfect. So. And it seems to work on that tire, right? I right mean, now it is, yeah. I've been best of uh, one, two, three, and it actually power wheelie past the 60 foot, so. Awesome, and it's a, uh, TH400? Yep, Turbo 400 uh, with a Circle D converter in it now. Okay, cool. And it's got, it obviously has a trans brake and line lock and all that stuff that he's got mounted right on. Whoops. Mounted right on the shifter there. And you're, you are, we talked about it, but you are hand shifting it still, not air shifted. Yeah, sure. Um, well, let's pop the hood and get to the, get to the goods. Greatest part about this car is this sticker. I posted this on my social and I must have had like 50 people comment on what it was and I, everyone thought it was like the Trailblazer oh, uh, yeah. straight six. Yeah, no, that's that's my buddy Calvin. So, <laughs> so Barra's are, they were in what in Australia? Uh, they came in the Ford Falcons um, and there was an SUV called the Territory. Okay. So basically they called us the uh, um, Australian LS. Yep. Because they were just everywhere. Sure. Know? easy to get and it's how many liters it's a four liter okay and it's got what's it got for internals in it uh still a factory crank but it's got um manly turbo tough i-beams it's got custom ross pistons and then ferrea valves and then arp studs i didn't really do a whole lot more and now. is there a stock valve or uh camshafts yeah they're stock cams right wow. now i wanted to see how far i could push it and i think we just found that yeah <laughs> So it's got, uh, what else going on in the hood? What's the turbo? So that is a um, FIS uh, 8083. Okay. Um, and then it's on a six boost manifold and it's a plasma man intake. Right on. Yeah, the intake is just beautiful. And the fuel rails plasma man too, super yep. nice. Hyperactive coils. Yep, um, the guys are hyperactive, good friends, so. Cool. Motion Raceworks throttle body, yes, tile blow off valve. Is the wastegated tile? No, the tile, tile is, or the Wastegate is now a Turbo Smart 60. Okay. Um, I had some trouble controlling boost in the beginning. Single 60. Yep. Who did? Who built the turbo kit? Um, Jeff Chandler Jr. over at uh, Pure Performance. Yep, we know Jeff. Good guy. Yeah, he does good work for sure. And um, what about the headers? This is something that someone obviously makes a turbo header for this yep, that, thing? That header's um, pretty common in Australia, so. Okay, so, so this is like an LS turbo header but it's, it's for this, someone someone makes those. And is the wastegate plumbed back into the exhaust or is it just no, dumped? No, it actually dumps straight to the oh, ground Oh, I see right it right now. there, yep. Very tight. <laughs> sure. And uh, you got a couple sets of wheels for it, right? So this this is just the stock set of wheels on yep, the front? This is the, the street wheels, as I call it. Okay. And uh, drag lights with some hubcap adapters. Okay. And then racetrack. Uh, race mode is uh, some the new billet specialty red lines. Cool. And then Mac Fab B block. So this is like Z what Zach does. Yep. He's got the same, puts the hubcap on it, gives it that total, total sleeper look. Super badass. What else are we missing out of the hood? Just a lot of time. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is just one of my. I've I've been bugging Fonzie to shoot a video on this car for three years now. It just happened that it was over at 
D&D &D for uh, Justin to finish the tune on it for, for this race. So it's worked out to be able to shoot it and share it with you guys. Yep. What It's got catch cans up front, single there, catch yeah, can. So it's got more motion. motion parts, you know, trans overflow, catch can, uh, overflow tank for the radiator. And then it's got a Delta Pag um, brushless fan, which has been great. Yeah, I think it moves some serious air. Yep. What's, uh, what's the fuel system? So it's a um, custom aluminum tank. It's got a uh, twin 525 uh, Hellcat pumps in it. Okay. And then uh, some uh, uh, 2200 cc injectors. Okay. So Are both pumps running all the time or is no, one on a window no, switch? One, one pump is all the time. The other pump comes in about four pounds. Boost reference, yeah, yep. cool. Yeah, that's how my car's set up too. It seems to work well. And you run, you run it on E85 even pump, on the street yeah, too? Pump, pump E85. I test it about once a year and yeah it is what it is yep so. cool yeah it's it's a badass piece it made it made good power what did it end up making that pull uh made 903 horsepower and i think 800 torque i'd have to look but. okay and the way this turbo comes on i just imagine it being an insane ride like, it's pretty violent yeah the turbo is all or nothing yeah. when it comes on so you know you know when you're gonna have a good pass yeah for sure <laughs> And you're you're leaving off a trans brake. You're hand shifting it. it. Normally has a parachute on it. It's yep, got motion do, parachute or something. Uh, no, it's got a uh, MAF parachute. Okay. Um, good friends of mine, but it's a spring launcher shoot, and it made the world the difference for me. Not yelling when I pack it. Yeah, so. for sure. What's it got for brakes? Uh, Willwoods all the way around. Okay. Um, they've been great. So. And it's got uh, strange shocks on it yeah it's got strange double adjustables in the rear and single adjustables in the front for now okay cool yeah that's what i have on my car in the back I, I, it seemed to work good um yeah right now it's still got a manual boost controller so he's turning it up by hand but eventually he's going to wire the, the fuel tech valve. fuel tech you know boost controller and uh drive shaft sensor ran, it's got out, it. ran out of time this right. week <laughs> these drag and drive guys man they don't play yesterday we were over here running on the dyno and it chucked a pulley off of the water pump and fonzie was over here at what 8 30 or 9 o'clock yep. this morning and r and r'd uh brand new water pump on here but this one's got a, a metal metal uh idler on it or, or pulley so hopefully he's good to go for how many miles to drive I think it's about 800 this 800 event. miles gonna go drive his car and run mid eights with it it's just i give you guys mad props that that do this shit i can can't imagine but it's, uh, uh it's definitely an experience yeah i know that's what tom always says for the adventure yeah. so i, I guess it's always an adventure yeah for sure and he pulls a, a trailer with this i'll post a picture of it and uh what's it like a 12 foot trailer or something? no it's actually a four by six four by six um it's an aluma and it's it just happens to have a a wrap done that's very similar to the scheme of the car right so. on yeah it looks bitch in the picture you showed me I'm, it's pretty cool so yeah we're gonna uh justin wants to trust test the trans make we'll get some video of that and then uh maybe we'll get fonzie driving it up and down the street here a little bit but i'll i'll share all the uh the dyno video with you guys after this appreciate you chatting with me dude thank you appreciate good it. luck this weekend make thank sure you uh check out tom's channel i think he live streams uh it'll be live streamed on uh, freedom plus freedom plus so cletus's channel you can watch the live stream and then everybody's facebook will have updates yeah and... for sure well good luck this weekend man thank you. thanks appreciate for sharing it. and uh a little two-step chat coming up All right, guys, we're back home. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Such a cool car. Fonzie's a great dude who built some really cool stuff, including that car. So unique, total sleeper, total unique platform. Um, still Ford Power, Barra. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get back to making some more of these build breakdown videos. I'll do my best to get content up. Those of you looking for content on my car, we're still waiting on valves, like I said. So hopefully we'll have that stuff back, at least make NMRA at uh, Martin here at the end of July. So that's kind of the goal right now with the car, sad but true, and uh, do some racing this fall with it. So you know the drill. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you. Peace.